From the bounding box lecture, we know how to detect an object using bounding box or an anchor boxes. But how does a model precisely predict these boxes? Well, in this lecture, we will dive into the details of training an object detection model. Well, imagine we are given one fixed size of bounding box then maybe it will incorporate an object for an image. So how do we check that? We can start from the top left corner of an image and run the box through every pixel windows horizontally and vertically. So I can move the box to the right and move down to the bottom. As we are running through the windows, each box returns us a vector represented the confidence probabilities of whether the box contains an object. For example, here the box contains a dog as 30% confidence, contains a cat as 0% confidence, and thus the model confidence that the box contains nothing as 70%. Then how do we classify the box? Here is a solution. For each class, we have threshold P. For example, P can be 80% or 90%, and the prediction confidence of a given box is smaller than the threshold. We threw away this box for the objective class. In the end, after running through the different bounding boxes or anchor boxes, we may output the following boxes. But if we are looking closer to the output, we may find many similar bounding box predictions may point out towards the same target. Well, the ideal prediction output looks like the right-hand side. Then, how do we solve this issue from the left-hand side, duplicate similar boxes to the right-hand side, cleaning boxes. We will use a technique called NMS or non-max suppression. So non-max suppression removes the similar bounding box prediction for each object. What does it do? It's pretty simple. So for all the remaining boxes for each object, we first select the box with high, highest probability confidence of that object. Then we calculate the IOU of the other boxes versus this box and remove the boxes that have a really high IOU with the selected one. And now let's have a quick recap of the sliding window method. We first generate bounding boxes with different aspect ratio and different size. That is the anchor boxes. So we slide these boxes through each pixel window and decide the object class for that window and remove the boxes with lower probabilities. And for the remaining boxes, we apply the non-max suppressions to greatly remove the highly similar ones. And this is the whole procedure of the sliding window method. However, here is another problem. So if we generate a lot of anchor boxes, and if we run through every pixel window, it might be too computational expensive. How to solve this problem? Well, hang on your head. We will introduce the iron model in the next lecture.